Hello, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be solving the Hanayama cage puzzle, which is a level three out of a possible six on the Hanayama difficulty scale. And it is the only and last level three puzzle that we need to solve. And it is appropriately named because our aim is to separate that star shape looking piece from the cage that it is currently surrounded in. Once we've done that, we'll then put the star thing back in the cage and then we will place it on the leaderboard or on my leaderboard or based on how difficult it is. Currently we have the easiest puzzle down here, we have the hardest puzzle up here, left to right, bottom to top, everything in between. Let's get straight into trying to separate the cage puzzle. Okay, so here is the cage puzzle and yeah, it's fairly obvious what we need to do take out this star thing from this cage piece and it also seems fairly obvious in that I mean these sh gaps in here are all different the actual where it comes out is very very thin it thickens up actually but it's quite sharp that actually but yeah so most of these are different shapes that one and that one are quite similar but yeah, the other two sort of all complete, well yeah, they're all different shapes and um, it must be a case of only one of these will actually work for separating, for separating this and so we've not quite got the room in here and that is the biggest area on this one. So I'm gonna now ignore that one. I'm also gonna ignore that one and that one. And we're gonna focus on this one, I think. Because based on that one effort, it makes me think that those ones don't have a big enough space to get things out of. There's always gonna be a twist involved with this one, I think, as well. And I'm guessing it also matters which bit of the star comes out first, because you've got, like, cam, I'm not sure whether you can see this, but this part of the star is much shorter than this piece, this side, or this side. So do the, do the longer bits come out first, or do the shorter bits come out first? I mean, it's got to be the shorter bit that comes out at its crucial point, if that makes sense. And I think the fact that this hole has sort of two peaks on one side and one peak on the other side, whereas all the others have just one on each side, surely matters. And I'm hoping right now that it matters for a case of, because this is the only one it comes out of, rather than this one has to be like, if say if we're coming out of this one, and um, maybe we have to use this one to get a certain piece in, like sort of this one's creeping out of this one before we can then separate out of here, if that makes sense. But for now, we're gonna stick with attempting to get it out of, out of this part. It's quite awkward to hold. It's getting into and getting a grip of this star bit is, is tougher than, than I expected. Not having much luck there, so we'll, we'll switch to this one. Oh, is this it? Oh, it's not, but we're very close. So I think it's got to do with, maybe not necessarily the shape of these um, I think it's got to do with the shape of, of those grooves in there as well see like how shallow that one is or how deep that one is in comparison to like that one ah there we go <laughs> uh, wow that was interesting so it was just a case of I'm not even sure what came out first or last then but it was just a case of getting the orientation right. And yeah, look, that is a very strange shape. And you could see that it was a strange shape when it was in the cage, but I mean, I don't want to lose which one it came out of. I think it came out of this one. 
but yeah, it's, I mean, you could see that it was a strange shape while it was in there, but yeah, that is odd. That is an odd looking thing. Uh, right, so it didn't take us very long to separate that. Now, we just need to put it back together. Reassembling it, I'm hoping, shouldn't take too long. I didn't really, I probably should have paid more attention to how it how it came out, which I think was this. And obviously that is the shortest of all the peaks. I'm not sure if peak is the right word. But we can then turn around there, maybe. And there we go. I'm gonna have to do a little bit of practice on that because I was sort of, didn't really pay attention to which hole it came out of. I sort of half guessed that it was this one because I remember going from this one that we started looking at to, to the one to the left of it. But the actual, the actual move to separate it, or the, the few moves that I think it actually takes to, to come out of there is, is quite interesting. But yeah, I'm looking forward to actually to master in that move to get those out uh, but there we go we've done it we've solved what is now all level three Hanayama puzzles this one didn't take us very long about five minutes to take it apart and less than that to put it back together uh, now all we need to do is place it on our leaderboard so there it is we managed to solve the cage puzzle Going into this one, I didn't think it would be an extremely challenging one. Just from looking at the box, you can tell what the goal is and, and how you're gonna do it. It is more clever, if you like, the actual move that you do to get it out and then put it back in. I am gonna need a little bit more practice on, on figuring out the exact movements that you need to do for that. And it'll be also interesting to find out whether the gap that we took it through is the only gap that you can take it through. I would imagine it is, but yeah, I'll have a play around and see see if there are other ways of getting it out. So yeah, for the last level three puzzle that we have needed to do, it was a fairly straightforward one. And now all we need to do is place it on the leaderboard. And we're gonna start, I think, at the puzzle that we solved very recently, which is also a level three in the star puzzle. Now, similar solution, uh, a similarly shaped star piece and you have to separate it from a certain shell piece. However, I think the star puzzle is more difficult than the cage, although maybe doing the star first helped with actually solving the cage, who knows. But for now, the, the cage is gonna go easier than the star puzzle, which brings us down onto the bottom row down here in the hook puzzle next. I think the hook is also probably harder than the cage, as is the key, mainly with the key because you don't know how it's gonna separate or the amount of moves that the key requires to separate is a lot more than the cage and it's not as obvious going into it how the key is gonna solve, whereas the cage is fairly obvious. And the ABC puzzle, we're probably just above the ABC puzzle in terms of difficulty, I think. So uh, that's where we're gonna stay. We're gonna go between the ABC and key two puzzle. So there it is, cage puzzle fully done, which actually leaves us with just one more Hanayama puzzle to solve. And that is based on the, the main collection, if you like. There are other sort of mini series of Hanayama puzzles that we haven't done yet. Things like the Ultraman collection, the Marine collection, and then there's also some sort of lower level ones that aren't produced anymore. But for the main current collection, we've just got one to do, which is the level five devil puzzle, which I'm, I'm not looking forward to, to be honest. I feel like that one's gonna be a tough one. But anyway, that is for another day. Thank you very much for being here. If you wanna see me solve more of these Hanayama puzzles and then the step-by-step -step solutions to each and every one of them, then be sure to click my face here to subscribe and I will see you next time.